Dear students, welcome to EPG Partshala. Today we will be discussing about water related hazards in this module. So in this module we will be covering the topics different types of water related hazards, their occurrence of various types of water related hazards and then we will discuss about the causative factors responsible for water related hazards and the water related diseases and at the end we will discuss about few case studies regarding water related hazards. So first of all what is a hazard? A hazard is a natural phenomena and a situation where there is threat to life, health, environment, property and society. Hazards takes place without taking into account whether the place is highly populated or isolated. Disaster is an event that completely disrupts the human community and leads to economic loss of life and has considerable impact on environment. Earthquake, flood, tsunamis, landslides, etc. are few examples of both hazards and disaster. But a hazard is called disaster when it affects human population. When any hazard strike an area having no population, although it still have destruction properties, it is not termed as disaster. Water related hazards. There are many types of water related hazards like flood, drought, windstorm, slides, wave and surges. We will discuss these one by one. So first of all flood. A flood is an overflow of water that submerges land which is usually dry. Floods are of many types which includes flash flood, riverine flood, coastal floods etc. So first of all what is a flash flood? As per the National Weather Service, flash flood may be determined as a rapid and extreme flow of high water into a normally dry area or a rapid rise in the stream or creek above a predetermined flood level beginning with 6 hours of the causative event. However, the actual time threshold may vary in different parts of the country. Factors contribute to flash floods are rainfall intensity, duration of rainfall, topography, soil condition and ground cover. Flash flood occurs due to sudden and intense ra heavy rainfall, so it gives least amount of warning time. Flash flood can also occur due to extreme rainfall released by hurricanes, tropical storm, failure of dam or levee, cloud burst and human activities. The damage caused by flash floods can be more severe than ordinary riverine floods due to high speed and velocity of water and debris load. These are two pictures which are showing the consequences of flash flood. The first one is flash flood in Uttarakhand that is in India in June 2013 and the another picture shows the cloud burst in the area between Pestro and Zingzing Bar blocked by blocked the Manali Leh Highway in 2017. The second type of flood is riverine flood. This type of flood caused when water run off collects in river and start overflowing the banks. Other factors responsible for riverine flood are snow melt and ice jams. The dynamics of riverine flood changes along with the terrain. This flood caused extensive damage to the people living in nearby areas of rivers and streams. Another type of flood is the coastal flood. This type of flood occurs when sea water enters into the low lying area near sea or ocean. Various causative agents for coastal floods include hurricanes, tropical cyclones and tsunamis along with topography of that area. Now we will discuss about the drought. Drought is an extreme climatic event with deficiency in precipitation over an extended period from months to years. Drought is a temporary dry period as compared to permanent aridity as in arid areas. Drought generally refers to water deficit but may also include meteorological, hydrological and agricultural deficits. The main causes for drought are dry season, El Nino, deficiency in precipitation, erosion, human activities and climate change. Drought is often classified into three types, meteorological drought, agricultural drought and hydrological droughts. 
Now, what are the consequences of droughts? The consequences of droughts may be social, environmental and economic. Then what is windstorms and what are the consequences of windstorms? Windstorm cyclone is a region of low atmospheric pressure surrounded by high atmospheric pressure resulting in swirling atmospheric disturbance accompanied by powerful winds blowing in anti-clockwise direction in the northern hemisphere and in the clockwise direction in the southern hemisphere. Typhoons, cyclones and hurricanes are the same phenomena, the only difference in places where they occur. If differences occur in the Atlantic and Northeast Pacific, the term hurricane is used. If occurs in Northwest Pacific is called a typhoon and cyclones the, when occur in the South Pacific and Indian Ocean. Various impacts of wind storms. Loss of life and livelihood, loss of crop leading to food scarcity, cause erosion of productive soil, damaging existing vegetation and ecosystem as well as area where the soil and sand blown, damage infrastructure like building, power lines, communication towers, bridges and roads, increased burden on government to rebuild or repair affected areas. Then landslides. The term landslide include all varieties of mass movements of hill slopes. It can be defined as the downward and outward movement of slope forming materials composed of rocks, soils, artificial fills or combination of all these materials are along surfaces of separation by falling, sliding and flowing either slowly or quickly from one place to another. Main causes for landslide are geological weak material, erosion, intense rainfall, human excavation, earthquake and volcanic eruption. There are different types of landslides like topal, mud flow, creep, lahar, lateral spread, slides, falls, flow, debris, flow and debris avanches. Various impacts for of landslides or mass movement damage to property, adversely affect water supplies, fisheries, forest, dams and roadways, affect availability of food and fresh water, cause injury and death of people in affected areas, oftenly block rivers and may lead to flood disturb communication network. This diagram shows the landslide in Uttarakhand in India in June 2013. Wave and surges. The term tsunami is derived from a Japanese term and is made up of two words, su means harbor and nami means wave. It is also called as tidal waves, but they are not related to tides. Three most common causes of tsunamis includes earthquake, landslide if occurring under water or above the sea and volcanic activity near the shore or under water. Tsunamis is not a single wave, but it consists 10 or more waves so called as tsunami wave train. Tsunami wave speed is controlled by water depth. This picture shows the aftermath of tsunami at San Antonio in Chile. Then the consequences of tsunamis. There are various kinds of consequences which include the social, environmental and economical consequences. Then we will discuss about the water related diseases. Water. Water related diseases is defined as any significant or widespread adverse effect on human health in form of death, disability, illness or disorders caused directly or indirectly by the condition or changes in the quantity or quality of any water. Water related diseases includes both water borne diseases and water associated diseases. There are many causes of water related diseases like microorganisms, unhygienic conditions, vectors, toxic chemicals, etc. There are many causes of water related diseases like water aerosol, excreta disposal, water bone chemical, water bacter habitat, water contact, water hygiene and water borne microbiological. What are the causes of water related hazards? 
there are many causes of water related hazards like dams and reservoirs increase in surface runoff contamination of groundwater leaching of natural contaminants change in rainfall pattern and flow pattern urbanization industrialization environmental degradation over exploitation of groundwater growth in population poverty increase in bare land depletion of groundwater table reduction at water storing capacity leaching of natural contaminant waste disposal site and septic tanks now few case studies related to water related hazards flood in kaziranga national park water related hazards leads to loss of biodiversity and also changes the landscape of that area flood in kanjiranga national park greatly affects the biodiversity of national park as well as the landscape of the area the national park is a relatively small national park in the flood plains of brahmaputra river the area occupies around 60% of the world population of indian one horn rhinoceros about 50% of the endangered asiatic wild water buffalo and has the only viable eastern swamp deer the park was designated as a natural world heritage site in 1985 perennial flooding and heavy rains have resulted in death of wild animals and damage to the conservation infrastructure now flood in uttarakhand 2013 Uttarakhand state of India is considered as Dev Bhumi and is famous for its Char Dham Yatra. Every year a number of pilgrims visit these places along with other holy places but in June 2013 torrential downpour and subsequent dilge wrecked havoc in Uttarakhand in June 2013 that is from 14th to 17th june uttarakhand received heavy rainfall as compared to normal monsoon along with multiple cloud burst caused devastating flood and landslides then cyclone orchi 2017 the cyclone orchi started from the gulf of thailand and ends near the coast of gujarat that is in western india This cyclone affects India, Sri Lanka and Maldives. The meaning of Orchi is eye and this name was given by Bangladesh. The cyclone Orchi originated on November 21, 2017 as a low pressure area in the Gulf of Thailand. On November 29, 2017 in Sri Lanka, this cyclone caused damage to property and life. Then this cyclone enters into the mainland of india and affects lakshadweep tamil nadu kerala maharashtra and gujarat dear students at the end we will summarize this module as we discussed in this module like different types of water related hazards impacts of water related hazards water related diseases and what are the causes of water related diseases thank you dear students